Hello, this is Operations with Numbers, the Commutative and Associative Properties, Example 7. And in this example, we have to prove that subtraction is not associative. And in order to prove that something is false like this, all you need is one counterexample. If you can come up with one counterexample that shows that subtraction is not associative, then that's all it takes. So I started looking for some examples and uh, the first thing I came up with is this. I just used the numbers 2, 3, and 4. And uh, the associative would mean uh, all I did was change the parentheses just like the associative pattern. And looking at this, uh, we haven't studied what 3 minus 4 is. See, that's negative 1. And 2 minus 3, that's negative 1. So this was not a good example for you guys. So next, I thought, okay, I'm going to switch it. Instead of 2, 3, and 4, I'm going to put 4, 3, and 2. So here, 3 minus 2, that's fine. And 4 minus 3, this looks fine. So... Um, 4 minus 3 minus 2 is 1. And we're wondering if this equals 4 minus 3, that's 1, and 1 minus 2. Now, we didn't study 1 minus 2. That's negative 1, and that's positive 3, but I really need to come up with an example for you guys based on what we've studied so far. So, instead of the 4, now I went to a bigger number there, an 8, and uh, I think this is going to work out. So here we'll have 8 minus 3 minus 2 is 1, and we're wondering if this equals, that, that symbol means does this equal, and 8 minus 3 is 5, so here I end up with 5 minus 2, 8 minus 1 is 7, 5 minus 2 is 3, so this is a counterexample. 7 does not equal 3, so subtraction is not associative. 